The tears are boy, Lord Thaddeus Craig. This one's not going to be about a cryptid. I did say I was going to do Loch Ness, and I plan on it. But this one's a little bit more important. It's about secret societies. Now, what exactly are secret societies? I'm not going to put too much in the way of one or different names, because that's a distraction in itself. I want you guys to think for yourselves and do your own research. That's how I operate, as you all already know. But I will tell you this. A secret society is the response to the mainstream doing things in which people most likely do not agree with. I'll give you, I will give you one example, and what I mean by this is simple. When the Inquisition was going on, as well as other types of events, as well as persecutions of different beliefs, the church was ruthless in its persecution of scientists, as well as philosophers and things like that, because they thought that it would be a, how can I say this, they thought it would stand in the way of their goals. Now, of course, they were trying to practice, you know, they were trying to peddle religion. And of course, how can I say this the best way? Even Jesus was not a fan of religion. I think it's all good for one thing, and that's getting people killed. So I think a lot of these secret societies were a defense against the religious zealotry of the time. That's the best way to say it. And it's kind of ironic, since Christianity started out as being extremely persecuted itself. You have to understand, you know, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was very badly persecuted. You know, being crucified on a cross for our sins is kind of, uh, you know, how can I say it's the best way? That's about as persecuted as it gets, good sir. But moving on from that. Secret societies usually are a response to a type of persecution in a lot of ways. Or a desire to control things in which you can't through the mainstream of control or through the mainstream of government. And so naturally, what are these societies going to do? Well, you have to understand something. A lot of these societies have been around since well before the time of Christ, maybe even the beginning of time. They're not dumb. They've survived, you know, they, these groups have survived by having very powerful and smart individuals in their ranks. So what are they going to do? Number one, they adapt. Number two, they keep hidden. They're called secret societies for a reason. Let's leave it at this. Uh, I mean, it could be anything from the Illuminati, Rosicrucians, uh, Masons, even the Knights Templar back in the day. I'm just saying, you know, you guys have really, none of us have really any idea, not truly, on how these, on how these uh, organizations truly work. Yes, there are some, wit you know, there are some individuals who are insiders, whistleblowers, of course. And they kind of give us a mild glimpse into what happens. Well, I'll tell you right now, what is the best way for something to survive in secret? Simple. You, number one, you remain in the shadows, number one. Number two, you gain control of the narrative of the mainstream, whether it be government, events going on around you. My point is, you're the one that literally plays the puppet master, and you make the mainstream in which people see the puppets. That's the best way in order to think about it. These organizations, they do this. And when something hits the fan, they're not even affected. However, of course, the puppets are damn sure affected. I mean, that makes sense in itself. I mean, it's awful to say this, but it's the truth. The ones they control, they're the ones that take the brunt of the damage of whatever horror is going on, whether it be a war that's being fought, or whatever cataclysm or event that's going on, and they're hardly affected. And there's something else to think about. Why is it that these organizations seem to have, think about this, like politicians, for example, Politics, especially, maybe even especially here in this country, they're backed by people in the shadows. They're backed by people who are extremely powerful, but you'll never know their names or see their faces. Because, of course, you know, the main government takes the brunt of whatever happens if it goes south. And why do you think, you know, such people think, how can I say this the best way? Do I think that they hate us? Yes, I do. I think a lot of these societies despise us. They think, for whatever reason, they are our betters. And of course, I have news for them. They are full of crap, number one. Number two, they're, be they're human beings being human. I've said that many times. They're flawed. Okay, leave it at that. Because from day one, whether it be whatever your belief is, me personally, you guys know I follow the faith. Whatever it is, I believe since Adam and Eve took a bite of that fruit, you know, of course, you know, we turned our backs on God. And he, of course, was forced to 
separate from us in many ways. So my point is this. They are nowhere near as elites as they think they are. And so it's the same. It says, how can I say it's the best way? When it comes to these societies, they believe that they have every kind of control over us. Yet in the end, that's not the case. And what I mean by this is simple. Don't do what these societies would like for you to do. Oh, I do beseech you guys. Think for yourselves. Have your own will. Have your own understanding of things. The best of your power. That is how you will be able to get through the manipulation and the control these bastards have over us. I figured this was very important. Very important. As I said, many of these organizations probably started out meaning well. Maybe some of them still do. I mean, think about it. Uh, a lot of the these organizations, they help, you know, I mean, they have massive charities and charity events and things like that. But I'm wondering, why is it that there is so much evil in these groups? It's obvious that something is empowering. And it's definitely not the creator. It's someone on the other side. I know I kind of went all over the place with this, but at the same time, I have to kind of be careful about what I put out there. I'm not just trying to cover my rear end. I'm trying to cover, you know, the rear end of my channel and those I'm also connected to and who I work for. But, leave it at this. I believe this was very important. And also, what do you guys think about these societies? Leave something in the comments. Because I myself am kind of intrigued on what you guys think. You guys already know most of them I don't really have a very high opinion of. And that's just because of how they feel for us and what they desire to do in the end. Hell, look at the Georgia Guidestones before they were blown up. Self-explanatory. These people in power despise us. It's kind of hard to really be a fan of people who would want me and mine gone. Just gonna leave it at that. You guys know what I do. I am the producer for Dark Waters Entertainment. If you've had a paranormal encounter or a cryptid encounter or whatever, hit me up at westvic at iamdarkwaters.com. You guys be blessed and you be safe.